Just a disclaimer, if you don't want to spend money, do not watch this video. Because in this video, I'm going to talk about all my favorite sellers in the Epic Marketplace. Because as you all know, Epic Marketplace is having a huge, huge sale going on right now for Black Friday. So let's go ahead and get started. And these sellers, I'm not really affiliated completely, but I do like their products. So there's a couple of them. I'm going to start for, from the top. Now, this is my massive library. I've spent quite a lot of money in the Epic Marketplace. So first things first, the first seller we're going to talk about is Scans. So if I go click on Scans right now, Scans Factory. I've talked about Scans Factory recently because they did just release Temple of Cambodia. They have Asian Temple Ruins. They have so many. As you can see, I own a lot of their products because they have some pretty darn good products. Go check it out. I believe the Lost Cave Temple was actually the very first asset I ever bought in the Epic Marketplace, I think almost two years ago. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is Machine Gun Studio. So I'm going to click on Machine Gun, click on Machine Gun Studio right here. Again, these peeps have a lot of good assets. That apocalyptic hospital, definitely a must to have. Their quality is improving. Also, the gothic interior that they have, this mega pack right here, so freaking worth it. So the next one we're going to talk about is Liartis Studios. Again, these peeps have a lot of environments in here and if you've seen the snoop dogg music video the artist i think created three environments for that uh, music video uh they have a lot of good stuff in here they have some good cyberpunk in here as well and i'm hoping one day they would go for like i know they do a lot of game environments but i'm hoping one day they can kind of crank the the quality up to like photorealistic so we can really really have some fun in there but they have a lot of great uh it looks like a lot of on sale freaking maps right now this cyberpunk environment mega is 134 dollars all right so the next piece we're going to talk about is fresh scan so i'm going to go to forest cabin right here and click on fresh scan again these people have some pretty darn good assets like they have a new shrubland i haven't seen that yet they have a new lake house pack oh my gosh i can't even keep up like as you can see, I own this forest cabin. Again, I talked about it in my channel. I also have this mountain village, which is really, really cool. They have a lot of good stuff in here, man. All right, so if you're looking for a good character, stylized, you know, anime-ish, I'm going to click on Kintsuri because there is a... Uh, so there is a seller called Ida Faber or Ida Faber. Uh, Ida Faber, she's really good at creating characters like this. So if you're into this kind of stuff, like VTuber kind of deal, I made a tutorial about this how to vtube and i used one of her characters because she's got some pretty good looking characters right here obviously it's a little stylized cartoonish um but i know some of y'all and i believe yeah i use her model elf arch girl that i have right now so if you're looking for more of this kind of content um check out her store she's got a lot of stuff and what's cool about it is she started including the live link if you see this icon right here that means it is compatible with your iphone so that's really good and i talked to her about that it's pretty cool she's awesome very talented all right so the next one i'm going to talk about is vr4d now as of right now this asset pack got removed from the marketplace um but i was told that they are going to update it and bring something back so keep an eye out for vr4d they created some pretty nice amazing meta human clothes that i've been using actually two of them are actually included in my course that I released, Unreal Engine 5.1 Meta Human course. All right, so the next person we're going to talk about is SDK Warrior. If you're looking for some World of Warcraft stuff, this is where I go. He's got some pretty cool Berserker Orc Girl. Crap, I don't even have that yet. And additionally, he's got some nice Orc. The Warlock that I used in one of my videos I got from here. He's got a freaking Hunter in a tank amazing stuff if you're trying to create some world of warcraft ish kind of style game check out sdk warrior super cool guy uh super amazing go hit him up if you have questions he responds quite a bit uh really good at responding it looks like he's got a dracula in there it's got a butcher uh yeah support him great great guy uh talented artist so yeah check out his stuff okay next we're gonna talk about reactica like this guy super talented i've used reactica a year or two years ago it's amazing i use it for a lot of my music videos or videos that has music in it uh that he has magnica deforma really cool responsive uh check out his store as well it's pretty nice he's got some pretty cool stuff in here he's got that neon fi and i got reactica i own like two of his stuff right now so yeah go check him out this freaking tentacle blueprints look pretty insane 
All right, let's talk about more characters right here. All right, another talented character artist is Boogerville Maxim. I own a couple of his stuff like the Medieval Knight and Templar. Uh, check it out. It's a little bit more sci-fi-ish, monster-ish. She creates a lot of creatures as well. Looks like she just created a demon right here, which looks pretty scary. Let me look at this. Ooh, that looks scary as heck. All right, so this one is Dylan Brown or Blu-ray Attic. He's got a lot of good stuff in here. Obviously, I grabbed his anamorphic plugin. And additionally, this ocean system for rendered cinematics, I'm going to be making a video. He's updating this right now. Whenever that comes out, I'm going to make a video about it because this is amazing right here for 13 bucks. Okay, so the next one we're going to take a look at is Scans Library. Let me see if I can find their asset here. There it is. Arid Landscape Assets. Scans Library is another website. Actually, they sell assets as well. Scans Library, obviously, and they came out with a arid landscape. Now, they are making more of these kind of environments, but you can buy them individually as far as the assets go. So go check it out. Go to their free assets. Go to their website. This is a pretty high-quality arid landscape right here. And again, this is worth it to me because if you were to buy this asset piece by piece, I think it would cost a little bit more. So check that out. Scans library. So the next one we're going to talk about is Martin Hoff. He's got some pretty cool environments that I really dig. I still got to get this abandoned shopping mall right here, but I do have his abandoned basketball court. So check that out. He doesn't have a lot of stuff, but the stuff he does have uh, are pretty good quality. All right. So the next artist we're going to talk about is Vasily. This guy is super, super talented. I do have a bunch of his stuff, like the Secret Temple. I'm actually thinking about grabbing a couple of these ones again. And it looks like he's he just has a new he has a new one, Temple of Insight for sixty bucks. Whoa. Oh man. This looks sick. Like SIC. Holy crap, dude. And he is very responsive, by the way. Go go hit him up. This product sports nanite lumen. 13 gigs of disk space, bro. Um optimize. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> so oh my god, no oh, man, I don't. This is why I try not to be in here. This is what I try not to go, man. Vasily, you got me. You suck. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll talk about Maui's now, or Mavi's, my bad. Even though he doesn't reply to my emails anymore, we're going to talk about Mavi. <laughs> All right, so let's look at Mavi's stuff. So this guy right here, or this team, I think it's like a team of four or whatever. <laughs> look at this. I, I, I have almost all of his assets um and i guess i gotta buy this one right here god man smart as well you can pretty much just have my credit card information mafia because i have all of your sh like for real look at this do i get like a freaking award for buying everything out oh uh, yes i'm getting this one i'm getting that one i was waiting for that for a while let's just make sure that i don't yeah, so I only got like two things left. I gotta get like a freaking award for buying all everything in your market, in your marketplace, dude. You know, I, I think that's just fair, right? Maybe like an unlimited. Maybe you can send me like the high poly source for some of your tree assets right here. I think that will. That's fair. He probably doesn't. He's probably not even gonna watch this. Oh, gonna talk about nice pictures real quick. Um, nice pictures. I do have his android I almost forgot about that um it's pretty cool um, the, i don't have a lot of their stuff i think i only have maybe one or two but I, i'm always watching their store here so you can see they have a lot of photorealistic characters and i talked to him and and i told him man you you gotta rig these in meta units um that's the reason why i haven't bought any of this yet because it's 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 not really rigged to meta units um you can you can remove the head and you can do it that way and mask the mask way that I've been showing here on the channel. But some of these assets are really, really photorealistic. And I just wish that they were actually skinned to a meta human. So that's pretty much it. Those are my favorite sellers in the marketplace. Obviously, as you saw, I tried not to buy anything, but it's just so hard. I try not to go to those freaking people's stores, but, you know, I just couldn't help it. Those call, those assets that I just added in the car, those are pretty good assets. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Like always, thank you for watching and happy Thanksgiving to everybody.
Peace out.